first of all, if you're in an audition and you hear Bill and Alec laugh, your heart just bursts. Um, so, I worked on the pilot in the first year with Sherry, but I really give the credit after that to Sherry. She, you know, we do something in our office. If you connect more with one person than another, that's where there's no ego. She and Bill connected, go with God. I love Bill, I sit opposite you, I'll t listen, I'll say something, but go with it. But for the pilot, we, we did it together. And we just tried things with different actors. You know, we knew Anthony Kerrigan from Gotham. We loved him. What he did in the audition was so incredible. Even in the audition for John Piercello, who was the cop, you know, we had worked with him on a bunch of mammoth things. He was nervous, and, you know, we said, don't act, just do it. And then Bill starts improv with him, and they're improv and Bill is laughing, and you could see actors just, when Bill starts laughing, or Alec is quieter, but they would just, you know, like a peacock, the feathers would come out and they'd feel great. And Bill's very specific, very specific in what he's looking for. And you just, some, I didn't always understand it, but it worked. And then, of course, Henry Winkler is just, and he read Okay, so that's the case in point, and he just had a book come out because he just sent it to me, and he talks about reading for that role and not hearing and right away, and then having to come back and read again. But then he heard Bill Hader laugh, and oh my God, I made Bill Hader laugh, um, and Sherry was so excited. I remember, and um, and people were nervous because it was so good. Like Sarah Goldberg doesn't live in L.A., so she had come. I think she had come from New York, and. She got lost. We were in a building that was in the middle of nowhere, and she was late, and she was lost, and she was sweating, and I saw her come in, and I was like, relax. Like, I thought, my only job now is to make Sarah Goldberg relax. She was panicked. I said, relax, sit down. But I'm late. You know what? We'll do something. Don't worry about it. You sit and relax. And, you know, that's where it feels good to take care of actors, you know. Does it, does it, if for a part like hers where the character is kind of high strung, does it help to kind of keep a little bit of the buzz of the anxiety in there? I think she was is so skilled that she didn't need that to make it work. She needed to be able to get her blood pressure down <laughs> and focus. Yeah, yeah. What about Stephen Root? Oh, that's an offer. That He's Stephen Root. Yeah, yeah, he can do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and you said Anthony Carrigan's audition was amazing. What, what about it? Because I think he brought something that wasn't on the page. He had a vision, and he was so specific with his vision. And I think Sherry, most of all, was so um, happy because he had struggled because of his alopecia and not, you know, was doing the roles that we cast him in in Gotham. You know, that's all he would get. And Sherry knew him a little more, and to be able to let him bring out that comedy. Well, they're both mass holes, and they both like the New England Patriots, and you know what I mean? So I think when he walked in, he was in a room where he was beloved, so he could just go for it.